Hello grade 9, this is Batul, an English teacher from the Qarib school. In today's lesson, we're going to have the first conditional rule. So the learning objective is to use the present sample and future sample to form the first conditional sentences. So the first conditional is used to talk about something that can only happen if certain condition occurs. So, if close condition, then comma, then the main clause, which is the result. So, the sentence contains two clauses. The first clause is the if clause, which is the condition. And they are separated by a comma between them. And the other clause is the main clause, which is the result. So the if clause, for example, if a condition exists. So exists here is a present simple verb. So when we use the first, the if, if clause, we use the verb as a simple present. Then after the comma, we have the main clause. The result will be true. So this clause contains future imperative or modal verb. So the first part or the first clause, which, which is the if clause, must be a present simple. The verb must be a present simple verb. And after the comma, which is the main clause, the clause must be or must have a future imperative or a modal, modal verb, such as will be or may be, or for example, can be or cannot be. These are modal verbs. You can use them with the main clause not the F clause. So we're going to distinguish between the F clause and the main clause. The F clause contains a present symbol and the main clause contains future imperative or a modal verb. So the example is if a, if a, if a condition exists, comma, the result will be true. So, if something can only happen if certain condition occurs. So the, the condition here, if it exists, the result will be true. This is the result. Now the structure of the first conditional is, first of all, if, then the subject, then the verb base or as form, plus the complement of it. After the comma, we have the main clause, which contains the subject, modal verb, will, may, can, plus verb, case form. That's the complement. This is the structure of the first conditional sentences. So examples, the first one we have here. If it rains, I will go home. If it rains, this is the condition, I will go home. This is the main clause, which has the modal verb well plus verb one. And the second one, if I study today, I will go to the museum. If I study today, this is the F clause, which is the condition. I will go to the museum. This is the main clause, which is the result. So if you study, you will go to the museum. The third sentence, if I have enough money, I will buy some new shoes. If I have enough money, this is the 
if clause, which is the condition, I will, ha I will buy some new shoes. This is the main clause, which is the result, as we said. And the last sentence is, if I see her, I will tell her. So the condition is, if I see her, and the result is, I will tell her. So all these sentences contained the future simple, which is the main clause, I mean, the, contained the future simple, which is will plus verb one, or the base form. No comma when you put the main clause at the beginning. For example, she will miss the bus if she doesn't leave soon. So this sentence begins with the main clause, not the if clause. So here, we don't have to use the comma. Comma is not used in this sentence because it started with the main clause. Yes, she will miss the bus if she doesn't leave soon. And the second sentence, I will play football this weekend if I don't have any homework. I will play football this weekend if I don't have any homework. So this sentence is also started with the main clause, then the if clause. So comma is not allowed here, it's not used here. Comma is only used when the sentence starts with the if clause. But if it started with the main clause, we, would, we wouldn't use the comma. Exercise number one. If you blank a podcast, I will listen to it. So do you use here do or will do? If you do a podcast or if you will do a podcast, podcast, which is true. So as we said, we must use here a base form. So can we use a modal verb with if clause? No. So the answer here is do. If you do a, post a podcast, I will listen to it. Number two, if your sister goes to Paris, she, blank, a good time has or will have. So the first clause, which is the if condition, if your sister goes to Paris, this is a present simple, contained a present simple bit. And the second clause, she, so we must use here a modal verb. And the modal verb is will. Will have a good time. She will have a good time. So the answer is, will have. Number three. If he, that, he will be sorry. So if he will do or does that, he will be sorry. So we used will with the main clause. Then the if clause same contain the modal verb. So with the if clause, we must use the present simple verb, which is does. So the answer is does. If he does that, he will be sorry. Number five, if I leave now, I will arrive in New York by 8 p.m. So the answer here is will arrive because this is the main clause and it must contain a modal verb which is will and after will the base form which is arrive. I will arrive in New York by 8 p.m. Number five, you won't do well or don't do well on your test if you don't study. So the answer would be, 
won't do well. Why? Because this is the main clause, not the if clause. So we must use won't do well. Because it contained the modal verb well plus not. So well plus not is won't. Number six, they won't know the truth if you won't tell or don't tell them. The answer here is don't tell them. Because this is the present simple that we use it with the if clause. Seven, if I bake a cake, will you or do you have some? The answer is, will you have some? If I bake a cake, will you have some? Because this is, after the comma, this is the main clause that must contain um, a, a modal verb, which is will. Number eight, if he, you, Will you answer the phone? So here's the blank in the if clause. So we must use the present simple verb, which is calls. If he calls you, will you answer the phone? And the last one, number nine, if you don't go to the party, I am or will be very upset. The answer is, I will be very upset because this is the main clause. Thank you for watching. This is the end of the, uh, the lesson. Goodbye.